Logan Paul return and shoot a promo on Rey yep. Mysterio. Yes. What did you think of this promo? Uh, I wrote down promo not going too well. Lots of what chance, and it seems like the bored kind. <laughs> not yeah. like that we're playing along. Not like Jey Uso is setting them up and they're going along with it. What's like because we've seen Jay do that. Mm -hmm. This seems like crowd is bored. Um, he calls out Rey Mysterio, who obliges by joining him in the ring. And uh, this was funny. He says, Logan reminds him of his son, Dominic. Right. So that, that uh, was good. Dom got a bigger pop than Logan did. Right, when he was mentioned, <laughs> yes. He of my son, Dominic. Oh, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's not, Dominic Mysterio is so over right now, he's not even in the ring. And he's, he's getting booze, you know? Yeah, he's on the other brand. He's on Raw, and he's getting booed like crazy. They're like, they're ready to boo anybody out of the building. It's just the mention of his name. So good job for his character coming along this past year. We've noticed that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's been a very good surprise. Um, Logan Paul, he's got to get a win at a, a premium live event. He, he beat Ricochet technically the last time he wrestled. Mm -hmm. But if they're going to put a belt on him, that means he has to wrestle, right? Regularly. Yeah. He has to be on the show for a while, for several months. Just kind of going back to the promo, I think he started a little strong. His mannerisms were good and that he kind of had an idea of what he was doing. But mm -hmm. then he went way too long. And also, the content of what he was saying, it's just like, he's talking about the boxing match that he had last week, and nobody watched this. And no, I mean, yeah. this crowd even knew about it. So it's right. like, like rambling on about. So, you know, it's, everyone's there to watch WWE. We're not here to like, we don't like, we don't all subscribe to Logan Paul, you know? Right, right. I, I, I don't, <laughs> So, and the other thing about it is he's shooting the promo like he's a tweener when he clearly has to go heel. And yes, he's a heel in real life. I don't think he gets that. Like, does he not understand that people don't like him? You know? <laughs> he has all these followers and subscribers for his content. But yeah, there's probably a good portion of those people who, who hate watch. Yes, exactly. Like they're watching maybe to see the other people in his entourage and just to see if anything stupid happens. <laughs> maybe they're watching for the guest, yeah. not for him. Or, you know, like they, they they don't like him. And when he gets into a WWE ring, people like don't like him. He gets booed. <laughs> yes. I think that's, that's the thing. He should lean into that heel persona more because he is unlikable and the things he does in his regular day-to-day -day life are unlikable so yeah like trash the crowd go you know take some cheap sh cheap heat here and trash the crowd a little bit in san antonio like really lean into the heel thing I, you're not getting over as a face kid i i thought this was a work this has become a shoot you're just trashing logan paul in real life now. i'm just yeah i am i'm going a little in on logan paul but you know <laughs> uh yeah this is a shoot um, yeah. But, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, I think that the promo went a little long. And when you get those what chants, he kind of deserved them. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> as he got toward the end, I was like, this isn't a great promo. And he starts to get, get the what chants. And we haven't heard those in a while because uh, mm -hmm. WWE's been on fire. So it's, it's interesting to see a segment go so poorly. Logan Paul coming back to the WWE and getting this kind of a title shot. Um, last crown jewel around this time of year, he was setting up the, the showdown with Roman Reigns in Saudi Arabia for crown jewel, which I thought was a really good match. Um, and after the Sami Zayn match and the Cody Rhodes match at, at WrestleMania, I thought that was the best Roman Reigns title defense singles match I've seen. Uh, mm -hmm. So Logan Paul did, did really well. Um, this is kind of a step down from Roman Reigns, but but do you think it's time for Logan Paul to win a belt and, and get a real maybe career-defining victory it, as a pro wrestler? I'd be okay with it. I think he's okay. I think bell I mean bell to bell, he's good. Everyone doesn't have to shoot long promos. And you can tell he wants to, and you can tell that they, they kind of are, are moving in that direction, but he's not there yet. He's not he's not a 10 minute on the mic guy. Like nope. that, that's that's definitely not what you want out of him. But you he can perform well in the ring. And he is naturally unlikable. And he's also a person that's that's big outside of WWE. That's pretty undeniable. He's a 
he's a big celebrity, you know. And if he gets a belt, he's going to bring it onto his podcast. Yeah, you cool. know, it's going to be on his shoulder. You know, he might be wearing it as a headband. Like, who knows? If he gets a belt, it's going to be everywhere with Logan Paul. It's going to be in selfies. It's going to be on his YouTube channel, wherever other video streaming channel he's on. Mm. And, and and maybe that's what the belt needs. Maybe that would be hilarious to see. And maybe that would make Logan Paul even more unlikable. Because <laughs> he's like walking around with the belt, you know? Right. <laughs>